Once again, my name is J. Michael Harrison, and I said we have a, a bunch of very special guests in the studio with us. We had a uh, whole lot of music to kind of start things off. Uh, we jumped into some music that kind of um, revolves around Mr. John Hollenbeck, who's in the studio with us somewhere. Where is, where is he? Uh, there he is. It, it's, it's great to have you uh, down here with me once again. Thank you. Nice and to be here. Uh, we have a, a large portion of the Philadelphia contingent, or the, the 12 musicians that you've been collaborating with, and, and the uh, compositions will be unveiled next week on the 6th, including uh, a, a cat that's played a, a big role in bringing this whole thing together, Mr. Lenny Seidman, hanging out with us tonight. Um, but I just want to kind of go around the room and have everybody who's here um, in the studio just kind of introduce yourself and, and maybe the instrument that you play. So, Gabe, you can kind of start off over there. My name is Gabe Globosonic. I'm 22 years old, and I play percussion and drums and all kinds of stuff. Patty's pretty pretty comfortable back there, isn't she? <laughs> uh, my name is Patty Franceschi. I'm a percussionist as well. And um, uh, what else? Is it? Yeah. What's your favorite food, Patty? Uh, everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Hi, I'm Vanessa Santi, and I'm a singer. And I'm happy to be here with all of my friends again. Hi, my name is Brent White, um, and I'm a trombonist. Just cut to the chase, just I'm a trombonist, yes, that's, so it. that's it, all right. <laughs> <laughs> my, my name is Matt Mitchell, I'm a pianist and composer, and uh, I'm also happy to be here <laughs> with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Matt Davis, I'm a guitarist, and uh, I'm happy to be part of this project and hanging out with everybody tonight and talking to you so thanks for having us great to have you man my name is Bart Miltenberger I am a trumpet player also very happy to be here <laughs> my name is Aino and I play the saxophone I've been here before <laughs> <laughs> that, that, She's not happy that doesn't exclude you from <laughs> your introduction all right I'm still happy all right well, I'm happy that you're happy I know and it's great to have you back and and many of you have been down here with me before and it's great to have all of you uh, come through and hang out for a few minutes and uh, let the world know about uh, Big Ears and, and this project. Um, you know, I'm going to ask Lenny to actually step up to a microphone for a second. And, you know, I, John was down here maybe about a, a two months ago, I guess, maybe roughly. Uh, a month, yeah, uh, beginning of January. All right, so about two months ago. And, you know, we, we spoke a little bit about um, him... Um, letting the painted bride know that he was available, <laughs> and uh, you know if 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 there was an opportunity for his, his band to perform, he would love to pursue it with you guys. And you kind of uh, came back to him with a a, a big ears of a, of a, an idea. The genesis was uh, when John came in with the Claudia Quintet a couple years ago at Art Alliance, Philadelphia Art Alliance. And I just happened to catch it. I don't. I don't get a chance to see a lot of stuff because of various hats that I wear. But um, I, I um, there was something about it that um, that was very unusual, and and um, my ears perked up. And it was also very, it, 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 very. Um, there was emotion. There was fun. There was uh, unexpected stuff. So we talked afterwards. And at that, uh, very briefly, and he told me at that time, you know, that he's, he'd really love to bring, I introduced myself to him, I was from The Painted Bride, he said he'd, one of the things he'd really like to do is uh, uh, bring his large ensemble um, out of New York because they don't get that many opportunities to play. So that stayed in my mind for a while, and, um, uh, and then an opportunity uh, arrived um, with the Philadelphia Music Project to apply for funding and um and then i and one thing led to another in my thoughts i have the the advantage of having a really good staff at the painted bride to help me you know conceptualize things so then we sat around and and uh, came up with the idea of um yes bringing the large ensemble because that's what he wanted to do and and i think we at the bride like to 
provide opportunities for artists to do what they want to do. Um, and then we thought about a residency. We hadn't done uh, a residency in, in a few years, um, mainly because of funding um, issues. But um, so we hammered it out, and uh, I came up with the concept of, um, of the way it, e it has evolved, a two-week residency, and um, where, and it, this also, there was a lot of conversation between me and John throughout so that I knew that I wanted to be certain that, that he was comfortable with, with our thoughts and vice versa. So uh, anyway, that's really, that was the genesis of it, hearing Claudia Quintet and then imagining in my mind, my God, if, I, if this moved me so much with five people, what's the big band going to sound like? And also, I had a very strong instinct that he would be a great um, person to be in residence and work with Philly musicians. Um, n not based on any knowledge. Uh, I, I had, I've never seen him teach or anything like that before, but I usually go on, on uh, intuition and hunches. And um, uh, so the first week took place. Well, there was a long audition... Mm -hmm period that uh, was very interesting. A lot of people submitted their work samples and bios and um, art artist statements and uh, passed. I, I gave it a listen and look, sent everything to John while he was in Germany. And uh, so it was a pretty thorough process. And um, originally it was supposed to be 10 people, but I knew that there was going to be that we're gonna that there's go, it was gonna be tough choices and tough nos and I'm horrible with nos. So anyway, we worked it out um, and opened it up to twelve people, uh, which made me feel better uh, about about that whole situation. <laughs>